So I want to talk about physical training logbooks and why I think that you should have one. Now, this is something that's actually pretty recent for me. I've been using my phone and the app that my programs are written on for a good chunk of time now. But I think that it's pretty safe to say that most people start with some sort of a written logbook and you actually tend to see quite a few people go back to it after some amount of time. Um, and obviously some amount of it is preference. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I just think that it's kind of cool to have the book around and actually do some handwriting because we don't do very much of that anymore. Um, and I started it as a little bit of a gag, but I think that there's actually really something to having something written and away from your phone while you're in the gym training and getting a session done. Um, and I think that that's the first really big benefit. It's that you can put your phone away and just be away from all the messages or the communication and everything else going on. It's not like I've got anything that big and important happening. Um, I can take a little bit away from the phone and avoid the doom scrolling because inevitably, especially when you don't necessarily train with mates or you've got a couple of seconds of downtime, um, you can get caught in that. And realistically, training is for the physical, but it's also for the mental for a lot of people. So being able to get away from all of that and just kind of mentally reset is really good um, for the 45 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half that you're in the gym. Um, but yeah, so that's the first really big benefit. Um, now, the second really big benefit for me of actually recording your training, so this will probably, this will apply um, if you're using an app or just the notes app on your phone or whatever it is. Um, but the second really big benefit of recording your training is that now you can go back and look at what you've done over past weeks. And I can actually look at all of the weights, but I also write down little notes as to how I felt about things. I can see that in set one of these block snatches, um, Chris told me that I needed to keep the bar closer. And then that felt better as I went up in weight. And then when I got up too heavy, it felt a little bit too hippy again. Like there's so much benefit to actually being able to look back at past sessions. And of course, it's good to just have it written down in the moment and take a second to think about it. But where this actually helps more is when you go into your future training sessions. I can see that last week my block snatches felt a certain way and that I got these certain cues that really, really helped. And I can apply that from set one. Whereas when you don't have something written down, when you don't have something that you're going back to, what we see a lot of the time with people in the gym is that we forget. We forget the little nuancey bits that a week ago were really, really important and made us feel like instead of doing the exercise at 60%, we were doing it at 90. But we forget about all of those little details and then going into it, instead of going in at 60%, we might be a little bit better because we've had those reps, but we start at 65 we don't start at 80, 85, 95% of our actual potential on the exercise. And all of a sudden we're having to relearn these things. It's as if we were going into school every single week and we're just consistently relearning and doing things because we only touch on a topic once every month. It doesn't work. It doesn't, it's just going to take you so much longer to learn things. In school, you revise and you go over your notes and you go over all that kind of stuff so that you can actually get back to where you were quicker. So it's the exact same thing in training, um, recording your training and having something written. And I like written because it's so much easier to take notes on what actually helped me feel better. Um, that's gonna help you get back to whatever percentage you were at the week before. Um, and that's really important when you have natural ebbs and flows. Like, we know that there are ebbs and flows in the gym and that it goes up and down. So some days you'll have a really good day and it doesn't matter what you do, it's just gonna be a really good day. And then on the other side of things, there will be some days where you have a really average day and these notes can help you bring that average day up a little bit. Um, and now the final thing for me in terms of actually why you should be recording your stuff is because it now lets you also be competitive with yourself. So we talk sometimes about beating the logbook. 
Um, if I'm able to see those weights from the previous week, not only does it add that context and add those notes, but it also gives me something to be competitive with. I don't just have to rely on myself pushing myself every single session. I can look at it and be like, oh, one week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I've been on this same weight. Let's try an extra two and a half. Let's try an extra five kilos and actually try and really push myself on it because I know that I've got that backlog. Whereas again, going back to the earlier part that I was talking about, we forget. If you don't write what, uh, down what you're doing, you tend to forget what kind of weights you have. And it might not be on your one or two main exercise, you might know that you're squatting 112 kilos, but you don't, you're not gonna remember everything. And you're not gonna be able to remember everything, you're not gonna be able to remember everything with the amount of nuance that you need. I know my squat 1RM PBs. I don't necessarily know my PBs at eight, seven, six, five, four, so on, right? So it's really important to be able to compare those things and then go back and look. Um, yeah, so the way that, now just talking quickly about the way that I record. All right, so here is going to be my training log example. So for example, today's date is the 25th of the 9th, 2024. So I just always get the date up the top and then I'm labeling that this is a tutorial training log. Ah, that's not how you spell training, that's okay. Log, so a little bit of a title so that I can go back and actually look at the different days that I've got. Um, and then from there, I'm just actually showing out the exercises. So it might be bench, press, and I'm doing that for four sets of four. And I might do 100 kilos on my first set, and then I go to 200 kilos on my second set. And all of a sudden I realize with 200 kilos, oh no, too much weight, I died. So that might be my note. And then going into the third set, I might have put on 90 kilos on the bar because a dead man can only do that much. Um, and yeah, then I just go through that. Finish that, go on to the next exercise. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, if I were to turn this into a four day, what I would do instead, or a four session, I would have the week or the, the day of the program that this is. So day one of my program, so that I know, so that I know consistently that this is my day one session. And then I would split it up into four. So I have that there have that there. And then in that case, let's block that off. Do, do, do. Um, in that case, I would have bench press. And then once I have that, it goes across to every single day. So day, uh, sorry, week. So week one, week two, week three, so we would have essentially this is the day one spread we have week one two three and four and now I can compare my bench press across every single week um, of course this is only for a bench press program um, no other exercise is important um, but yeah essentially this is it this is simple stuff but it helped me once I saw an example so there's one for you all right, so that's how um, I go through my training logs and another strategy um, on top of that. And those are the reasons. I think that it's really important that you keep some form of a training log. So I've just shown you how to do it written on paper, but even if you are just writing it in your notes app or something like that, it's really important that we're actually looking at the training that we're doing over time and tracking what we're actually getting done. Um, whether it's so that we can have a look back so that we can prove session over session, or if it's just a sentimental thing, going back and looking at what you were doing a year ago, it's actually really beneficial um, to be able to do that and be able to see the progress that you've made. Um, if you've got any questions about this, feel free to reach out um, to me through whatever contact you can find on here, find me on Instagram, whatever it is. 
Um, and yeah, have a good day. Uh, go out and get your book and log your training.